What's up? It's Max Jam. We're back again with another video, and today we're playing Oxen Free. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. I think I can play with controller. I'm not sure. Night school. I mean, I am. It used to be a military base. Well, it used to be a ranching thing, then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing and a museum or whatever. Yeah. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's right. Henry Fonda? Around Christmas right. time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing Ooh. polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Yeah. Alex? Hey, still with us? Yeah. You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. I can watch the hypnotic rolling of the waves and listen to you at the same exactly. time. Exactly. Oh, okay. I guess I'm Alex. What did I say? Little Miss, I can see and hear things at the same time. Uh, something about cookies. Uh, cookies are great on Edwards Island. Used to be great, but you passed. Thank you. Yeah. So, so I'm the chick. Um, I'm the not, chick with the blue hair. Not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a... You know, actually, I'm not even going to tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes, please don't. Let's exactly. not relive their meet cute any more than we have to. Yeah. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um... I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what? Does that make you to her then? Hey, uh, second cousin? He's my stepbrother. Oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool hat. You get a cool new sibling living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. Eating yeah, it. Yeah, sure, whatever. I have someone to reach the food on the top shelf now. Just happy to be on the team. I'm not going to give him so, everything, you know what I'm saying? How do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic. Grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both what? looked like little skinned potato blobs. <laughs> Ugh, it's so creepy now to think about. Why? We were babies. It's funny, that's all. He's weird. Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, wait, who's talking right now? It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the... Fine, just hold the camera out. Like, far. I was like, cut, I cut them off. My freshest right now. It's true, Jonas. This is like B minus Alex. Just for your uh, calibration. And it's Jonas? Not Jonah? Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk? Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. Jonas. It means oppressor, right? Yeah, but I mean, my sign's cancer, and it's not like my hair's falling out or anything. Here's good. Come on, Al. There, great. Right. I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The little portable one? Yeah, of course. Perfect. Can you pull it out a second? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's going to say something like, basically, right now, about our thing. So, tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh! Oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach, or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here yeah. are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. <laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. Are we here yet? We must be getting close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Right. Not just for the boat. This um, is weird. No. You'll see. 
I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. Oh, will we now? Smell that clean air, boys and girls. Boy and girl. This ain't city living. <laughs> yeah, um, anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh, uh, no thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing, so... Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. No, bitch. Oh, uh, no thanks. Don't do that I don't shit. smoke. Last time I had one, it didn't go well. Yeah, no, I didn't know what coughing with your whole body meant until I saw you dry heaving. <laughs> exactly. Okay, just checking. You're not doing that All shit. Right. My other friend should be up and around the bed. Actually, that... I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have, like, two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Uh, really? Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, bud. <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're going to have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all going to meet up with them. It's like a buddy system. No, it's it's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Yeah, I want to know what oh, this nigga got okay. to say. Okay, I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, man. I'll just be up the hill in case... whatever. Ren seems nice. He's funny, you know? Yeah, I mean, he's harmless. But, yeah, he's nice. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And like getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. And not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Uh, we'll make saying. do. Lemons, lemonade, however that goes. An optimist. Oh, Christ. <laughs> yeah, I'm an optimist, and proud of it. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. Yeah, no problem. problem. Anytime. It's nice at night, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. We can catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. Alright, let's go. Store off road. Look at that random ass car here. I think he's up here. I'm not really too sure 100%. He said up here, so I don't. I mean. Ah, oh, I forgot this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the the um the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, like 102.3? I just want to see how it oh, works. Shit, shit, shit. Uh, okay, sure. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15th, 1941, yeah. and commissioned into service at the end of that year. I've never heard of this before. Kind of creepy Blackburn. in a way, right? On October War 28th, 1943, is hell. <laughs> Yeah, my dad had a bunch of comics named that from like the 70s, but it was like literally Marines fighting in Satan and dinosaurs or something. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15th, 19... A little gift shop and shit. Hello, kids. Look, the other guys and gals must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh, the beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the feds. Man, we are way down here. They're up there. Look at all this fucking... This is... This is a lot. This is a lot. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you used to get over there, but... I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not... I mean, it can't be too difficult. Ugh. Perfect. Well, just wait a minute and let me think. So, to summarize, we are not allowed here after dark. 
the town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High junior class, have come to commit improper threats. And the other thing is the weirdo caves. Weirdo caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like... The front, the mouth, the mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices or just sounds. It's um, it's pretty creepy. At least I've heard. I did it once. It's amazing when it works. So back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like owns or owns some of the island or something. She's been shacked in the same spot for like 70 years. She's kind of what you call the local legend. She has a that woman won the life lottery. I've been cutting Seven him off. Seven years of sleeping with the window open and smelling the ocean. You'd be okay with never leaving. Never leaving. Just there. All the time. Well, if it's on an island, then yeah. Monkey butlers, lobster wives. It's the dream. Oh yeah, what was I think? I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try it. But we're not gonna sit Jones, here and chat. Did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Oh, really? Yeah, so... And did this little birdie tell everyone he did Susie Lyons even though it was only over the pants stuff? Uh... <sighs> over Just the pants stuff? Just because Mark went to study hall at the advisory board doesn't... It's 9 p.m. Okay. Oh, uh, before we get there, I should, I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Who's that? That's, so, there's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me, so just, you know, j just Where be cool. Where are you going, okay? yeah? No back. pouting or complaining or anything, all right? Ren, relax. Oh, and okay, Jonas, now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tails? Just leave it alone, Ren, all right? right. You don't shut, have to hear everything. Shut the hell up. I don't- Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying, I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Brad's car? Oh, well, that can- Hey, we started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so. Uh, yeah. Hi. Hi. And Jonas, that's- Who are you? Jonas. That's Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother, really? Yeah, I know. Yeah, he's a cool guy from cool North. I can't Valley, see so over there. Let's all try and show him a good time. <laughs> Just the beach and some beer will be enough, I'm sure. Wait, 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 wait. You're I Jonas. can't see over there. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... you her stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Um... My mom married his dad, so. Family law and all. Yeah, I can't see them to the left. Yeah, well, I guess That's this is weird. happening now. This is a thing that is happening. So, <sighs> where is everyone else? Wait, let me see. Uh, I don't know. Nicole had that tennis thing. And, uh, who else was supposed to come? Anyone? Everyone? Clarissa, we, <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? Huh, <laughs> that's it. That's who you brought. That's the group. Clarissa, seriously, who even invited you? Uh, I did. Ren invited Nona, and Nona invited me. Though, begged me would maybe be the better way to put it. Uh, I didn't. I didn't really beg. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you, I just met. <laughs> yeah. Hey. What about me? What about you? Just never mind. You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20 deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend, who didn't think we could make it, who lost my invitation, who had to go Faster. on there. We've been hearing about this for years, and now we're going to do it. This is going to be amazing, right? Right, guys? Yay! Awesomeness! Yeah! <laughs> I, I can't see them over there. Oh, there they are. It's like zoomed in like really weird. Fire! 
Man's great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Yeah, let's just get drunk. It's supposed to be a party, right? Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Her family's been moving back and forth on the ferry, getting all of her crap. Hey, we could go see her house. It must be huge. She was rich as- No, we can't see her house. There's a giant fence, and I don't want to tear my jeans trying to climb it. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Isn't it, a uh, truth or dare? This is better than truth or dare because nobody ends up licking somebody's butthole. You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth, but if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good... Uh, that sounds dumb. ...getting to know somebody game. Unless you lie a lot. Uh, how can you prove that somebody lied? Hearsay, rumor, conjecture, the usual. All right, let's just get on that with it. That doesn't mean it's still the okay. truth. So, first, we're gonna... I'll start. Ren. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You want to go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, wait, wait! I want to hear his answer. Clarissa, come on. You're supposed to ask, like, have you ever stole something? Not super weirdo probing stuff. You ask probing stuff if you play the game right, Alex. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something mm -hmm. like... Enough stalling. I know you want to sample the goods, now no, just say so. I, I mean, I, I, I like her as a friend, right? That's... I just like her as a friend. That's... that's all. She's cool. She's... All right. Great, let's just move on. Okay, it's Ren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something? Alex, Alex, Alex! <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> I just have to think about which nerve I want to so delicately pinch. Okay, uh, just take it easy, and grab another right? beer. Tis all in good fun. Hey, no partnering up to be pansies. Silence! Okay, I'm so Mary Screw Kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? What? It's fun! It's funny, I don't know. And Jonas is family now, technically. So he's excluded. Well, I'd marry Nona. I like the quiet types. I'm flattered, I think. <laughs> Okay, you're going down the line. Who'd you do the dirty with? Clarissa, obviously. Yep. <laughs> obviously. You're not gonna call her out on that? Right. No, I believe her. I mean, look at me. And wait, mm. wait, that means you'd kill me? Out of everyone here, your best friend. Hey, you wanted to know. <laughs> and I'm the only guy. This is Miss Andrew. Miss Andrew, I said. <laughs> okay, settle yo, down. Chill, yo. So, Alex's turn? Yep, lady's choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great. Here we go. What's your favorite stuffed animal? Professor Rissa. Oh, boy. Yes, Mum? This is pretty fun just watching. Do watch. you like anyone? Like, like, like anyone? There's no one in school worth liking now. Come on. Ouch. So, no, I don't. But nice try. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty exciting. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe... Excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. I'm, um... Is there, like, a question coming or what? Exactly. I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad. So, let's put his mind at ease and hear why. I, I don't... I don't really need... Okay, just get to whatever point this is getting to. The point is... Why'd your parents get a divorce? Just so Jonas can hear it from you. Clarissa, I don't really care why they got a divorce. Just that Alex's mom is happy now. You know why. Michael died and it broke everything and they couldn't handle it. The end. Exactly. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die and everything will be fine. Okay, Clarissa. You... What? You know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Wait, let's... Let's not stop like this. We should like- Game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm gonna sit on the beach and drink, and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we can- And that's exactly what Nona's gonna do, too. Man, what is your problem, Clarissa? Just exactly. what- Exactly. 
What did I do to make you act like I ate the last piece of chocolate cake on your flippin' birthday? Nothing, Alex. You did absolutely nothing. She's Jeez. lying. If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosie happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. Sure, we'll grab ya if we find any, um... Island Bigfoots? Island Bigfoots, exactly. Well, I want to inaugurate this bitch by checking out the caves. Nona, want to come? Uh, I mean, I would. I'm but... very clingy, Ren. <sighs> Fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? Well, like I said, you're a strapping young lad. That's true. You okay, did say come it. on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh, yeah. Is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. Alex, you want to check out the caves, or...? Yeah, let's do it. Next time on Auction Free. Holy crap! It sounds so 